big plays when they had to. And they've really been in control a lot of this game as Cook tackled on the outside. The time continues to run. And then the Bucks, which we will be there in Tampa for that one. That'll be great. Here's Cook racing to the edge. Stay in bounds. Goes out of bounds. Oh, stay in bounds. I don't think that was the plan, but. Gotta stay in bounds. Third and two looked like the timing was a little messed up there. Field trying to use that athleticism. And it will finally chase him down. Jair Alexander with the stop. It'll be fourth down, and the Bears will bring the field goal unit on. And I guess he's reading out there, but if he were reading out there, maybe he just never saw it. I, I think when the snap surprised him, he lost the read and they lost the play. It just was a total breakdown. Yeah, white hair, the guards looking back at him, right? And the ball snapped. And Preston Smith is. Take it down. Fields chased by Gary. He escapes the pocket, and you see his athletic ability, but he threw a pick. At the 39-yard line, Jair Alexander comes up with the INC. Came from so far <laughs> across the field. He is so far behind in this foot race. He's there? This is this is like me racing Usain Bolt. He was 10 <laughs> yards behind. He closed the gap. You can't even see him in the picture. And he made the play. That was ridiculous. No wonder they paid him $20 million. <laughs> well, he, he wanted. Third and 13, wants the screen for Barkley, who makes the catch. Probably better off to let that one drop. Jair Alexander all over him. It's a loss of four. Jair Alexander was playing that left side flat. He was at the bottom of your screen, and as soon as he saw that ball come in, like a heat-seeking missile, he was all over 26. Zach Wilson backed up, looking for some offense. It hits Garrett Wilson, but it's incomplete. Looked like he hit him in stride by Jair Alexander. Might have helped knock it away. Wilson keeps looking. No one's open. Fires. Incomplete. Jair Alexander, outstanding coverage on Garrett Wilson. Zach Wilson had really nowhere to go. Field goal try coming up. Yeah, and Jair Alexander, he's followed Garrett, he's followed Garrett Wilson around the, the whole day. Every time Green Bay decides to go man, A funny thing in this league. Jets are 0 for 7 on third down. Wilson taps it, throws far side, and that is nearly intercepted. From everywhere he goes, this time he's the outside number one receiver. Garrett Wilson's trying to run a little comeback there on the sideline, and he's just in his hip pocket. He almost picked that ball. You'd like to see Zach Wilson throw that ball a little further to the boundary. It's one of the tight ends now. Here's Robinson. And Alexander meets him, and then Campbell wraps him up. Answers everywhere. After the gain of six, Allen's first pass it is incomplete. Broken up in the secondary. Jair Alexander over there with Gabe Davis before the game here as well. The incompletion makes it third and a long four, and Allen looking to take off. Instead, we'll flip it downfield to Davis, underthrown and nearly intercepted. Alexander going back with him. One of the great things that Josh Allen will do is he'll act like he's going to run and then go sideways and flip this ball up. And this is just a fantastic start here for Jair Alexander. A three and out. Omaha has it! Packers break three. Allen throws end zone for Shakir, incomplete. Jair Alexander was underneath that, and the field goal unit will come on with three seconds remaining. Chiefs and Bills. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be all right sweet. with me. Third down, Allen, he'll escape, waits for somebody to uncover, and now throws, and that one looks like it's picked off. It is, one more time, and Jair Alexander he goes and gets one, and Alexander, who has been involved with the crowd, or the Bills throughout, right there. Well, Allen, back-to-back -back drives here, has thrown interceptions. This Green Bay defense stepping up in the second half. Lions go jumbo formation, and that's Dan Skipper, the tackle in motion. And they're going to fake. Goff, pass time, on load. Oh, it's intercepted! Alexander's got it! Jair Alexander, cutting back. He's got blocking. Alexander! Still going and inside the 25. Just never saw Jair Alexander. It looks like 
Amon St. Brown is wide open. But when he's looking off the receiver to the left, Goff comes back late. And he just never sees him. That's a veteran play, just kind of baiting the quarterback to throw that crossing route. Well, we've talked, someone's got to step up and make a play. You heard Aaron. Quick throw here, and Gallup is tackled by Alexander right away. No gain. Four-man rush. Prescott over the middle. Incomplete. Alexander, great coverage on C.D. Lamb. Well, they motioned C.D. Lamb over. They got the one-on-one -on -one matchup they wanted. But what a great job. He's a little early. Gainwell remains the back to bring it five this time. This pass is caught by Devontae Smith, who's going to be a yard short. Walker and Alexander on the tackle. First to the left, top of the screen. Smith and Brown looking that way, throwing that way. Contested for Smith. Came down hard, incomplete. Let's see, Smith's okay. Fields, screen, that was read perfectly. There was no chance for Claypool. Jair Alexander was right there. Watch him just come running up here. He sees it the whole time, all the way. He's that's that's just film study. That's understanding what they're gonna do out of that formation. They get in a bunch. It's first and goal back at the 19. Montgomery got away for a moment from Preston Smith, and then Dean Lowry and Jair Alexander, and everybody populates the football which I'm sure will make Joe Barry happy. It's a loss of five. Yeah, it starts with Preston Smith right here on the edge. We talk about the edge defense. You see how he keeps his outside arm free. Now he's hustling, and then everybody. Jair Alexander getting down there. Lowry coming across. Everybody starting to, hey, you can see it. We're seeing Justin Fields just grow as a quarterback throwing the football. Looking to throw again. Come back, round it is picked off potentially by Jair Alexander, and sure enough it is. Moment of zen with that interception. He did, and it's all about being at the top of the route right here with Equinemia St. Brown. You see how slow he is coming out? Jair Alexander is sitting there. Now, he's been beat over the top. Yeah. I mean, he's been beat over the top, and he's still sitting on that route. He sees... The receiver chop his feet, slow down. You got to be able to come to a stop from a full speed sprint and drive back to the foot. Hill joins Tungavalo in the backfield. Quick throw, Mostert, no room. Tripped up by Jair Alexander and finished off by Enoch Bari. Five to choose from for Tungavalo. Retreating. Throwing, sideline, caught near the sticks by Jill and Waddle. Dolphins trying to snap a three-game losing streak. Tonga Vailoa. Uh-oh, that one's picked! Dueling interceptions! Jair Alexander! Punch, counterpunch! Packer football! For as much as Rodgers has struggled taking care of the ball, two has been that good, only his sixth pick. Yeah, and this one just sails on him over the top of Tyreek Hill. But look how many Green Bay defenders are around Ty Tyreek Hill in that situation. Now, there's a difference between not putting a lot of pressure on yourself and playing free and then playing smart. That was not a great decision by Tua Tonga Vailoa. You watch right here. Look at all the defenders around there. That, that thing is going to have to be perfect. He showed up on tape. He's learning. He's not a rookie anymore. Second and ten. Here we go up top, sideline, and incomplete. And that was Alexander who broke it up. Oh, he's got a little gritty right next to <laughs> Jefferson. Second and ten, Packers bring four. Goff on the swing, Swift trying to hurdle, and Jair Alexander stayed high. Wouldn't let him fly. Gain is only two.